difficult to predict Marshall's future because a lot of the stuff we still we still don't know. A lot of stuff is just wait and see as it grows. But when he was born, it became very obvious very quickly that he couldn't breathe properly. He could cry, but when he tried to relax, he just he just start to panic. So it was a good three days before we got a diagnosis. Um, and he's got Apert syndrome, which is one of the cranial facial syndromes. So he's got early fusion of the skull plates. Four out of six of his are fused. Um, he's got abnormalities of his upper airways. He's got fused hands and feet. Um, syndactyly of the fingers and the toes. At the minute, the struggle that we have is the fact that Marshall is an average 10 month old baby size wise. And a lot of the stuff that he, you know, he still can't sit unaided, he can't support a lot of his own weight yet. So he still needs things that are tailored for children under under nine months. So he's outgrowing all of his stuff. I've just had to find him a bigger bouncer chair. He's getting too big for his baby bath, but he can't go upstairs. He's got a lot of machines that need to be with him at all times. And, and a single person cannot physically carry him and live all of his machines upstairs to bath him. A minute, on a night time, we've got night carers. So we have people that... That stay awake whose job it is to sit next to his bed all night from 10 p.m. to late a.m. they do his feeds they do his cares the problem that we've got at the minute is we've got no real space for them I've got a small living room and then I've got a dining room but everything else has to happen in that room as well you know my kids will eat breakfast while my carers are getting him dressed but he's got nowhere to put his stuff the way he hasn't got a space that's his for his things this, this is the problem that we're facing. Everybody's saying, well, long term, you know, we don't want to do something drastic because in four years he might not need it, but he needs it now. He doesn't get sick like we get sick. When he's got a cold, he's on oxygen for four nights. We, we are desperate to keep him out of the hospital. His little body cannot cope 